As the Holy Spirit said, anybody who knows the Word of God and understands why God said what He said, these ones are the ones that know God. So in these programs, I just, we, we, I just want to echo to you the explanations that the Holy Spirit has given concerning the words that God in heaven has spoken through Jesus Christ, our Lord. As I talk to us today about the mystery of sin, I know somebody will say, well, I know what sin is. Sin, every disobedience is sin. But wait till you hear how the Holy Spirit interprets what sin really is, the root of sin. Because I, I always ask the Lord, and I, it's the same with anybody who would do the same. If, you're, if you, as the Lord said, walk before me blameless. If we walk before our God blameless, draw close to God, we know that whatever we ask him, according to his will, he hears us. It is God's will that he himself be known. So when we draw near to God and speak his word to him and ask him for explanations, he's very glad to do that. Because if you know why God says what he said, you know God. In other words, people who just speak the word and do not really understand why God said what he said do not really know God because they don't understand, they don't have the spiritual intellectualism to be able to, to take that further step to find out why the man said what he said. This is one thing that causes a lot of conflict in the world today. You know, because people say something, but you, re you really didn't understand what he had in mind when he said it. So you go interpret it your own way, and there's a lot of conflict as a, as a consequence all over the world. Misunderstanding. Well, it, let, let it not surprise anybody that our God in heaven is also greatly misunderstood. People don't really understand what he said. They just can't take his word, and they begin to run with it. Before long, they begin to interpret it to suit their own lust. Bringing the whole tithe in my house, that it might be meat in my house, put me to test. And before long, that, that graduates to the law of sowing and tithing. If you bring in your car, bring in your house, bring in all that thing, you, the, the secret of wealth, and so on. It's all over the place. I do not judge anyone, but I just want to let you know that there is a, something called the mystery of sin. And this is what the Holy Spirit says it is. That the mystery of sin is this belief that they are doing the right thing. The belief people have that they are, what they are doing is the right thing. That happens, the Holy Spirit said, because they do not believe God. So there are two parts to the mystery of sin by the Holy Spirit. Our Lord says that it is this belief that what you and I are doing, even in the church, especially in the church, by leaders and all, this belief that what they are doing is the right thing. This happens, the Lord says, because they do not believe what God says. It happened one day that our Lord Jesus entered a tabernacle, met a man with a withered hand in church also that day. But look at these religious leaders, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Instead of them to listen to the word of God and, be, and you know, grow thereby, they were watching the Lord to see whether he will heal on the Sabbath. Because for them, these are their laws, these are their doctrines, I belong to that church, I belong to that denomination. It's more important to them than the word of God. And these are the causes of division. Because to them, my religion or your religion, this is our religion, our religion and there is diversity of religions all over the world, is more important to them than what, than what God is saying and what he means by what he said. See how they are killing each other on the basis of religion. To the far east is covered with darkness or to the west, to the north-south. I belong to that religion, I belong to this religion. Who, where, where were they, these religions and the gods you serve? When God was alone and created the heavens and the earth with his word. Therefore, this is a call to everybody, whether you are a Muslim, a Hindu, or a Christian, or whatever, a religious person, it's time to listen to God, not to your religion. The mystery of sin. This thinking that what you are doing is the right thing. The reason you do that is because you don't believe God. The Holy Spirit said. People don't believe God. They don't, even find, they don't even find out what God says and why he said what he said. They just pick it as it is, run with it, and begin to interpret it the way they want. This is what the fathers did. And before long, they entered idolatry. And in some places, they know there is, there, is a, there is almighty God, but they are still saving idols. You know there is a God in heaven, but you are still bowing down to, to dead gods that your hands have made. All these statues and all these carvings. When God said, you, you shall not make for yourself any graven image of anything 
in the likeness of anything in heaven and earth, and I say, you bow down to them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. I visit the sin of the Father upon the children, and upon the children's children, to the third and the fourth generation of those who sin against me. And that's what they are suffering. What religion are you in that you, you have these big statues and you are bowing down to it, you are kissing the feet, you are kissing the hand, you are doing all of these rituals along one statue that is in front of you. Cannot eat, it has hands, cannot do anything with it, it has eyes, they cannot see, yet you are bowing down in the name of your religion. Therefore they become blind like what they serve. The mystery of sin is this belief that what they are doing is right. The reason they do that is because they don't believe God. They don't want to find out what God said because I know majority of these people who are bowing down to, to idols in the name of religion, who are calling the name of God Almighty and committing a extreme, a, a, a extreme violence in, in the name of God and they kill. They don't know God. Do, do you think God needs your help to kill? When he destroyed the first world, where were you? With flood, he did it. If he wants to destroy many, we open the earth. He doesn't need your help. So people carry guns and go and say in their religion, we are looking for jihad, we are looking for whatever you want. And they begin to kill, and they will be mentioning the name of God on top. That way, that the mystery of sin is this, 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 this belief that what you are doing is right, when you are wrong. And the reason they do so, the Holy Spirit says, is because they do not believe God. And this is, what the, this is the judgment of the Lord, we heard him say. He said, nobody is obeying my voice. They are all doing what looks right in their own eyes. Therefore, the Bible says, there is a way that looks right, that seems right in the eyes of men, but the end of it is destruction. And I'm using the church because the church is, 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 is holy. But many, many times, the doctrines of the fathers are wrong, completely wrong. If they are right, why are there all these divisions? This one says, I belong to evangelicals. This one says, I'm Pentecostal. That one says, I'm Methodist. That one says, I'm Anglican. That one says, I'm Catholic. They have all these divisions all over the place. Nobody is listening to God. They are all listening to the, to, the, to the doctrines of their founding fathers. This is the mystery of sin. You see, it will surprise somebody who says, oh, but I thought I was, I'm a good person. I give tithe, you know, like that uh, Pharisee. The Lord Jesus said two people went to, to pray in the, in the temple one day. One a Pharisee, the other one a publican, a common man. The publican said, forgive me, a miserable sinner. And that's what everybody should do, for all have sinned. But the Pharisees say, I'm not, you see, I fast twice a week. Some of you fast for 40 days according to your religious tenets. You're wasting your time. Say, I fast twice a week. I give alms. I'm not like that publican over there. So the Lord Jesus said, the, the common man, the publican went home justified. In other words, God approved of the common man more than the religious leader. You see, because that day in church, once upon a time, Instead of them to be listening to what God says so that they can, they, can, they can run away from sin, they were watching to see whether the Lord Jesus would break the Sabbath. So their doctrine was more important than the word of God. In case you are pointing fingers, no, it's you. Every one of us are in it. In the church, not to talk about the other religions. All have gone off completely. The whole, world, the whole place is full of darkness. Death and dying in the name of doing what is right in their own eyes. Allahu Akbar. God is great and you kill. It's not the God in heaven. It is something else. Because the God in heaven, his love and deep love for man is evident everywhere. The sun that shines, they did fail one day. If God, is, if God wants people killed, why, would he let, why, why does the sun shine? You see, it is, you just, this is the mystery of sin. You just believe that what you are doing is right. You see, you don't believe what God says. Therefore, the devil exploits that and you, you know, the, the rest, as they say, is history. Turn from evil ways. It doesn't matter whether you, you call yourself a good person. After all, you give gifts, you don't steal, you don't, you don't kill, you don't do any of those things. But you do not believe what God has said. This is the mystery of sin. You think that what you are doing is right, no matter what it is. Even if you give your body to be burnt, but you have no love, prophecy nothing. There is somebody, maybe an NGO or an international organization, you are distributing food, you are giving all, you are doing all these things that look right on the surface. But you are doing it because you think it is right in your own eyes. You, you are not doing it because you believe in God. The devil therefore exploits this and know, see how, how intense these in, international global interventions are, but, but things are getting worse. 
That's why. It's time to believe God. It's time to listen to what God is saying and not what you think is right. But that is the mystery of sin. Just like it happened that day in church, in the synagogue, once upon a time. So the Lord Jesus was grieved, the Bible says. He looked at the man with the withered and said, come here. The man stood. The man believed and stood. So he asked the religious leaders, is it, is it, is it good to, to show kindness on the Sabbath or not to show kindness? Who among you, if you have a sheep or an ox, it falls into a, into a pit, you will not reach down to bring it out. None of them could answer, because they will. None of them could answer, because if their property or their sheep or their goat falls into a pit, they know if they have to wait for Sabbath to finish, that thing will die. So they, whether it's Sabbath or not, they will reach down and bring it out. So the Lord said, how if you would do that, why do you find it difficult to, 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 to accept that this man can be healed, whether it's a Sabbath day or not? You see, you know why? Because they don't believe God. They just want to do what they think is right. And guess what? These are repentant religious leaders all over the world. All these religions, that's how they are. They are after power. They, they, are, they are jealous of the real thing. They are after influence. They are not after what God says. You better run away from such religions. And better run away from such leaders. Or else, the blind lead the blind, they all fall into the pit. So the Lord Jesus said to the man with the withered hand, stretch out your hands. Because he had told them, it is, it, is, it is good to heal on the Sabbath day. Whether it's Sabbath or not, it is good to do good. Stretch out your hand. And the Lord, the man believed and stretched out his hand. And the Bible says, and it's true, that his, his hand was healed. Only Jesus can do that. None, none of the others can. Only Jesus, there, there are things only Jesus can do. Only Jesus can heal, can make the blind see, can make the lame walk, can, make the, can raise the dead. He himself died for the sins of the whole world. On the third day, he rose again from the grave. Well, I don't know about the others, but I know Jesus rose again. And all over the world, people are seeing the Lord. We talk to him every day. Hallelujah. Guess what? You would think those religious leaders would say, oh, okay, thank God, see, his hand is healed. No, the Bible says instead they went and began to plot how to kill the Son of God. These are, these are the religious leaders majority are following. When they, whatever they say is death, all they are after, they are not telling you the word of God. They are preaching hatred all over the place. They are preaching death because they are looking for, they are jealous of the real thing. They are looking for influence. They are looking for wealth. They are, they are distracted from God's priority by pursuit of wealth and advantage. These are religious leaders all over the place. It doesn't matter the religion. They are all guilty, all of them. You see, but beloved, everyone here in the sound of my voice, it is the word of God that you need. Because the mystery of sin is thinking that what you are doing right now is right. There is a way that looks right in the eyes of men, the Bible says, but the end of it is destruction. You, you know why the Holy Spirit said why this happened? is because they do not believe God. They do not pay attention to what God is saying. They are not paying attention to what the Almighty is saying. They are not paying attention to God. They are only paying attention to, their, to, their, to themselves, to their religion, to their influence, to their wealth, to themselves. So the power they have over the people, come, they come, go, they go. Sit down, they sit down. That's all they're interested in. And that, my friends, is the mystery of sin. This belief that what the leaders and the people they are leading, are, that belief that what they are doing is right, is doctrinal. It is, it is our religion. It is all this and all that. And they do this, the Holy Spirit said, because they do not believe God. How, 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 how bad is this problem? It's as bad as this. There is a city, four million on Sunday, see people trooping to church. Four million Christians are going to church every Sunday. But, but the Lord Jesus said, you know, that if I come today, only four will be saved. What? Four, Lord, out of four million? Only four will be rapturable? Only four will be saved? So what are all these people who are in church every Sunday dancing and singing, hallelujah, powerful renditions, powerful messages, all kinds of things every Sunday. And so it is that they are all inside dancing, but the Lord Jesus is outside because they are not listening to him. Turn from wicked ways. This is the mystery of sin. It is why there is no power in the things that many of us do. 
Because we do not pay attention to what God is saying, to believe what God says, and live by the word of God. Because this is the one goal in the church. The one goal in the church, and not only in the church, but the whole world, the one goal is to seek and to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Anything outside that, this is what is called the mystery of sin. The devil will exploit it, they begin to do what they think is right in their own eyes. Because they do not believe God. Because they do not pay attention to what the Almighty God is saying. Through Christ, he is anointed. But I'm challenging you today that you and I can escape this mystery of sin. At least you can be among the four out of the four million. Why not? Because Jesus is coming again. Suddenly, he'll be here. He said, in, in, in the twinkling of an eye, when no one is expecting it, he will be here. And you know what? Before that terrible, that, that terrible war, you know, before the son of perdition is revealed, the Lord will come. And we know that it's very soon because the son of perdition is, is nearby. The testimonies, I will talk to you about that another day as the Holy Spirit wills. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that the day of the Lord is at hand. Only four out of four million, all this multitude going to church every Sunday, sometimes almost every day of the week, only four, yes, because of the mystery of sin. They just believe that what they are doing is right when they are wrong. They are not paying attention to what God is saying. So I challenge you, turn. Turn. Find out what God is saying. Study to show yourself approved. A workman that rightly divides the word that does not need to be ashamed. Find out what God is saying. Study your Bible every day. Prayerfully. Asking the Holy Spirit to explain to you what God is saying. Then believe what Jesus says. Whatever, say the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Anybody who believes what I say will have life. But the one who does not believe will perish. Therefore, for as many as believe in him, he gives power to become sons of God. It is the word. You and I must seek God's word, align yourself, believe what God says and do it. You see, because if you believe somebody, you will do what the person says. How can you say I believe and you don't do it? If somebody says, to, by, if you, by this time tomorrow, you know, there's going to be plenty of food to eat in a certain place. If you believe the person, by that time tomorrow, you'll be there. You obey. But if you don't believe, you'll not be there. Same thing. If you don't believe God, as majority don't, even though they call it, some, some are Christians, as the Holy Spirit has said, they are Christians in name only, but they are not in conduct. You can easily change this before the, that great day comes. This is the mystery of sin. This belief that what you are doing is right. And this is happening because they do not believe God. But I know that majority of us, majority of you, majority of the people, they believe God. They want to believe God. It's just that I pray that you will have that spiritual, that, that it's the spiritual intellectualism, that ability to take the extra step to find out what God is saying. Study your Bible every day. And when you study it, believe what Jesus is saying. And I, I want to make a clear difference between what Jesus says and what the pastors and elders and leaders and all these people are saying. This was the advantage of the Bereans. There was a group of people called Bereans in those days. Paul said, be like them. Because Paul the apostles are powerful as he is. Few like this man throughout. But as powerful as he is, whenever I preach, they went to see what, they went to see whether what Paul said is so. So Paul said, these people are doing fantastic things. Be like them. Yes, God, the Spirit of God is inviting us to escape the mystery of sin. That thing you are doing in church, that program you are doing in church, that mighty thing that looks right in your own eyes, you are wrong. Because if, if, you, if you did not seek the Holy Spirit to obey his voice, you know you are preaching and functioning under the mystery of sin. These are the things that make the church weak. So it's time to function outside to understand first of all the mystery of sin and to say no we will no longer function in that way we will walk we will believe god whatever god says and we will align ourselves to follow what the lord has said it may not be very popular it may not be you may not you may not be very you know very splashy as many people want there may not be fame attached to it as the, as the lord pleases the lord knows those who are his own so I charge you, I encourage you, saints of God, wherever you are, understand what the mystery of sin is, as the Holy Spirit said. It is this belief that they are doing the right thing. 
when in fact they are not. And it's happening like that because they do not believe God. Therefore, saints, it is time to pay attention to what our Father God in heaven is saying through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as you pay attention to it, align yourself. Believe it by obeying it. And people who live like this, though few they are, but I suspect that you are one of them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray that you understand this message. And I thank you all so wonderfully for listening to me. May God bless you all abundantly. In Jesus' name, amen.